Welcome to Ag Yields National Database. Add a new site. Go to the dashboard and click on the study you want to continue to work on. In this example, field notes from Farm in Northland will be entered. The reference for this unpublished dataset has already been entered, but a correction has to be made to the description notes. To edit the reference details, click on the icon near the title of the study. The page with the reference details will open. You can then make changes and corrections. Click Save. At the side of the screen, click on Add a new site. The system takes you to the data entry mode where all the information about the site can be entered. Remember, the boxes indicated by the red star are mandatory, like region and site name. For this example, the measurements came from a farm in Waiatera. Using Google Maps, right-click on the site and this will show you the site's latitude and longitude in decimal degrees. We don't know the altitude of the site, so we'll leave that blank. Use the grey bars at the right side of the screen to move the page down. There are instructions and tips available along the page. Hover the mouse over the instruction icon for more information. Any basal applications or methods common to the site can be entered here. They are site attributes. Do not enter any treatment details in this step. In this example, we have some information about the species, soil, the defoliation and the harvest method, so those attributes can be selected and entered. The measurements were from pasture, a resident pasture, so those are selected. If you know the dominant and the companion species of the site, you can add them here. In this example, the pasture is predominantly perennial ryegrass, mixed with kikuyu. Remember, if species are experimental treatments, then leave those blank. The notes mention a clay soil type. By typing in clay, the system will search for all soil names containing the word clay and if you know the soil classification, you can select the correct one. If you're not sure about the exact soil name, leave it blank. Next, select the harvest method, in this case, cage cuts. and type in the defoliation details. It was grazed by sheep. Scroll up to review and check the information that has been entered. Click Save to save the entry. On the left side of the screen, near the site name, click on the three dots which is a sub-menu. Here you have the option to edit, duplicate or delete the site. Clicking on edit allows you to make changes to the site details but not the site attributes. If only changes to the site details are required, click on save to save the changes or cancel if you don't want to save it. If you need to edit any site attributes, use the duplicate button. Let's say there was a wrong entry and site 1 hill was measured with a quadrat. Note that a copy of site 1 hill is created and all site details and attributes are editable. Now it is possible to correct the harvest method. Click Save to save the change. You can then delete the original Site Hill 1 with the wrong entry and keep the corrected copy. The duplicate option can also be used to create multiple sites which have similar details and attributes without the need to enter all the information again. This speeds up the data entry process. 
For example, let's create a Site 2, which is similar to Site 1, but received a basal nutrient application of 80 kg of nitrogen per hectare per year. Click on Duplicate. Rename the site as Site 2. Select the site attribute, Nutrients. Go to the Basal Nutrients box and select Nitrogen. Insert the amount of nitrogen applied. And save the entry. Now there are two different sites added.